Reaction forces are an important but often overlooked output from structural FEA. Here I'm going to show you how to get reaction forces in SimSolid. Okay, here's my model in Onshape. If I come over to the SimSolid Cloud tab, here's the same model in SimSolid. Now I've set up the model already. I've got the uh, material properties all assigned. I've got all the connections created and I've done two analysis. The first analysis is just constraining the base and doing a very simple gravity load. Uh, and the second analysis constraining the base and doing uh, a 500 Newton force on this lower step. Okay, let's, let's look at our reaction forces and see if they add up to what we'd expect. So if I look at the first case, if I want reaction forces, I just pick this menu here. And now as I go through, I can either look at supports or connections. And as I pick them, it'll give me the, the resultant force vector on that support. And it gives you a very nice little summary window. And you can see I can pick through the model and see the, uh, the, the reactions at each of the supports. Now I can do a few more things. If I want to sum the, uh, the forces for more than one support, just control or shift select. And you see here as I'm summing it, I sum the values here and I get a resultant vector there. In fact, if I do all four, I get a force right in the middle and it looks like to be 91.76. And that, since this is only a gravity load, this should be the, the weight of the entire structure. So we can check that. We can go back up here to our assembly and we can look at info. And you can see, yep, we got 9176, exactly the same thing. So uh, that's all, it's a good check to see that our analysis is, is correct. Now I can do one more thing. Let's look here in this second analysis. And then when I look at these reaction forces, these should sum up to the applied loads. There's no gravity, but if I pick all four, uh, the resultant is 500 Newtons. And if you can see here, if I go up to my load, it's exactly 500 Newtons. So again, it's a good check to see that, uh, that the analysis was, was done correctly. Uh, one more thing that we can do is we can look at connections. Now connections are the forces at the boundary of any two parts. And you can see I can go through the whole model like this and we have typically have many, many connections. If you want to zoom in, there's one really nice trick. You can just pick a part and then when I pick the part, the connections will filter just to the connections associated with that part. In fact, let's get this part right here because I want to see the connection force right there. And I can pick, pick, and pick. And there is a one for that, for, that, uh, for that one connection. So really easy to drill in and find the, the forces on any part boundary. Okay, that's connection forces and solid.